Hello? It's me. I was wondering if after all these years you lied to me. My name is Christian Kim and this is my last lecture project. As my time went by, my experiences throughout my life was full of ups and downs. The ups of my life was from the family and friends that stood by me from the beginning of time which brought me happiness. The ups of my life consisted of the achievements and relationships that I was able to create with the people who are most important to me. The downs of my life felt that most of my life because everyone has struggling and saddening stories in their mind. Although downs make a big part of life and creates who we are today, I don't want to talk about the downs. I love happiness and I hate sadness. So here we go. This is me when I was a baby, and as you can tell, I was sexy and adorable. Everyone asked me why I slept like this, but I don't remember, I was a baby. The next few pictures show me as a child. As you can see, I love taking pictures of myself so I can cherish the moments of the past. And I love myself way too much. But there is one part that is sad about my life that I would like to share. And can anyone guess what it is? my elementary and junior high school years. Boy, did I look super ugly. I mean like, whose mans is this? I look like a potato. Golly. Throughout my life, I evolved tremendously and I'm not talking only about physically, but also mentally. I went from a tiny mouse to alliance as my maturity and physical figure increased. Ish. My evolution couldn't have been accomplished without my family. My family has always been there for me since the beginning of time whether it was for basketball and even school. This is my dad, and he's a pharmacist at Costco, and he graduated from USC. My dad is my coach and is the number one reason why I play basketball till this day, and his criticism keeps me going. This is my mom, an accountant at four, who graduated from Cal State Long Beach. She was the valedictorian of her school. And people might ask me, wow, why are you so stupid compared to your parents? Well, I don't know, man, that's a good question. I don't know what to tell you. Well, she is the most caring mother someone can ask for, and she's the number one supporter. She comes to all of my games and cheers me up when I'm down, and when I get in trouble by my dad, she tries to protect me as much as possible, even though she's scared. I love my parents so much. My grandma and grandpa are a big part of my life, since they take care of me when my parents are at work. My sister is one year older than me, which makes her a junior right now, and she's the most important person in my family. We are practically best friends, although we are siblings who are viewed as rivals and enemies. My sister and I protect each other till the very end, and for the most part, we cover for each other. She helps me with projects, my classes, and even my homework so I could succeed in school. If I had a choice of replacing my sister with someone else, of course I would take it! No, no, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't want to replace her with anyone. Our family is so close that we tell each other almost everything, and that shows a healthy family relationship, which is what everyone needs in life. Without my family, I wouldn't be the person I am today, and probably I'd be worse since my family determines my lifestyle and attitude in the future. Now for my favorite sport, basketball. I had the biggest dreams as an Asian child because my dream was going to the NBA and playing for the Clippers. My favorite NBA players that I wanted to play with was Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, and DeAndre Jordan. But sadly, my dad killed my dreams like this. But my happy place is still the basketball courts. I love playing basketball with my friends and at school because I'm able to play my favorite sport with my caring friends. Basketball is where I can relieve my stress and emotion when I'm struggling or troubled. This is the one of the few places where I can play freely and be myself for the rest of the day. I love basketball. Now for the best parts of life, friends. Friends are the best part of life because they are the people who are always there for you when you need them. Friends are usually the people who have common interest with you and have a long history with you. They are there to help you when you are down, crying, and depressed. Their number one goal is to make you happy since so that's what friends are for. Hanging out and talking with your friend is the ideal picture of a day well spent, and those are the days I love most. My friends consist of a variety of people such as basketball friends, after school friends, and school friends. My after school friends brought me into the group and we all became good friends overall. We have inside jokes with each other and had a closer relationship as a whole. My basketball friends are very important in my life too because we are able to bond together to create our amazing team. We can't be a great team without relationship and trust. School friends are probably the most important friends because you see them the most throughout your life. You see them five days out of the week for school and even more days if you want to hang out over the weekend. Friends are so vital in your life. Even though there are people that I love more than the others, they're still my friends and I love them all.
this is the backup one. <laughs> okay. I'm about to ruin your whole career. Thank you for watching my last lecture project. And by the way, the next video, if you haven't watched it before, I'm sorry for your eyes. Beware. <laughs>